Hey everyone, good morning. This is Tina. Thank you for coming over to my channel. I have some Happy Meal today from Elizabeth Holbrook, who is the Crafty Cricket here on YouTube, and I want to share it with you. I, first, I want to show you this cute, adorable card that she made for me, sending a paper hug. I think I have this paper. It's adorable. The little girl with the envelope and the doggy has his little mail. And then inside she wrote me a note and then on the back she's put her little sticker. It says the Crafty Cricket. And I'll leave the link down below to her channel. It came in this cute little envelope. She put Tina and some hearts and on the back it says um, happy, happy life. So cute. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. So Elizabeth had um, come across a lot of wood stamps and she was keeping what she wanted and then she was offering some up for anybody that wanted them. So she, um, I told her which ones I was interested in and then I received the box and I'm so super excited to share. She has other stuff in the box besides the stamps and look at this shred. It's so pretty. It's like an Easter colors blue pink pastels with green i'm gonna put that in a bag and save it because i can use that on you know send in another package so here is a wood piece it's like a picture frame shaped as a a jar it has the back that stands up and it looks like she decorated the front she used this music note paper with a little hearts in it so cute these clear stamps that are flowers that match the color of the music notes and then in foil she has the word grateful the top of this looks like it has a tin lid but this is actually paper that is so cool she wrapped it with this twine and put a cute little silver heart charm i love it thank you so much elizabeth and this would be great stand this up on your desk and when you're writing on a post-it note, because the post-it note won't rip the paper, you could put your little post-it notes all over here so you remember what you need to do um, or what projects you're working on, whatever you want to do. But you could keep this right here on your desk like that and use it as a post-it note holder. That's what I think I'll do with it. But that is so pretty. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I love that. And then in, in, the, in here, she knows I love pandas, so she put some stickers and actually, the, the bag itself has pandas on it. So cute, right? Adorable. You could put anything in here. But what I think I'll do is keep the stickers in here. Because I like to put stickers on my boxes and envelopes when I'm sending out stuff. So I'll use these stickers for that purpose. They're so cute. Little pandas doing all kinds of stuff. Adorable. Thank you for those, Elizabeth. And then she's gifted me some creative memory stickers. And um, I like putting these on envelopes as well. So here's some little quilted. Oh, there's some more pandas. Here's some quilted squares. Very unique. Here's some more pandas. And then we have more creative memory. And on this one, we have the picture in the bowl. Some butterflies. And this one, some baby carriages and clocks and ribbons and bows. Really neat. And then this one has a rocking chair, a basket, a pin cushion, some thread spools or bobbins or whatever they are. Um, pens and mailing envelopes, uh, stamps right here and a little chest. These are really nice and I like them so much. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I'll keep these right here in my desk drawer and I can put these on envelopes. I think I have some more stickers that I put on envelopes, and I'll just put them in that little Ziploc that's really cute. It looks like she covered a notebook for me with the little red fox. It says Dream. You got some Rick Rack ribbon here, and it's just a um, notebook that has lots of paper, and I keep this right here. I'll keep this so right here close to me because I'm always writing notes. I have my little note card here thing. I'm <laughs> just keeping notes on. Um, so I like these kind of notebooks that sit right here near your desk. Quick and easy, right? Thank you so much. I love the little red fox. That is so cute. And then she has gifted me a mini, mini mask. And um, it says brightening mini mask made in Korea. Okay, so instead of having the mask cover your whole face, it covers the mini areas like this lady has it on her forehead her cheeks on top of her nose pretty neat it probably smells good too i like the smell of these 
these type things. So thank you for that, Elizabeth. And then here is a cute little eyeglass panda holder. That is really cool. So cute. Look at those pandas. So you just put your either your sunglasses or your regular glasses down in there to keep them from getting scratched. And then you have a cute little pouch. That is so cute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. And then it looks like she's made me a pen. And this pen is very pretty. Oh, my gosh. If I can get it out of the box. Oops. So look at this. Isn't that pretty? She's got some beads and some a gem. These are glass beads here and then these little spacers. Those are, this is so pretty. And then you just twist it and the pen comes out. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. I'll keep that right here near my desk as well. Yeah, thank you. And you did a good job. I love that. Okay, and I think what's left in here are the stamps. So I'm just going to push this stuff over just a little bit so I have room here. And I'm going to show you the stamps that she has sent me. So this one here is a little comfy chair. I love the old-fashioned look. It's a brand new stamp. It says Factory Seconds. It's from Art Impressions, 1996. Isn't that cute? Brand new. If it's been stamped, it's been stamped lightly, but I don't see any ink on it. That is so cute. I love that one. Thank you. And then here we have this little guy. It's a little bear. <laughs> He's so cute. And he has a, looks like a shovel and a pail full of um, sand. Isn't he cute? I love my little bears. Uh, let's see. This one's dark. Um, Daisy Kingdom. Portland, Oregon. Made in Taiwan. 1991. Wow. 1991. And look at the condition it's in. Soft rubber and everything. Wow. So cute. I love the little bear. Look at his little scarf. So adorable. Okay. And then this one here are some more cute little bears. And this one is for also 1988. Woof. 1988 Daisy Kingdom, Portland, Oregon. Oh my goodness, 1988. You guys, and nobody's ever stamped this stamp. How in the world does this stamp come from 1988 and it's never seen an ink pad at all? That's crazy. It's got some little um, paper or felt uh, pieces stuck to it. I'll clean that later, but look how cute. Two little bears sitting side by side. They have bow ties on, a little heart on the chest. They're so in love. Look at that. She's got her eyes squinted and his are wide open. They're just so cute. I cannot believe, you guys, that this is a 1988 stamp. And it's in such a good condition. Rubber's really soft. And it's from um, United or oh, Daisy Kingdom. Isn't that cool? I love finding old stamps that have never been used. The story behind them and where they came from is often um, in my mind. You know, I think, was this another crafter from years ago? Maybe she had a lot of stuff and she didn't, she bought a lot of stuff like I do. And then some stuff never gets used or like, where, what's the story on the stamp? You know, it's always interesting to think about that. Um, this one here is, um, it's called Wagon and it's a Impression Obsession ink. And there's no date. But look at how beautiful it's a flyer wagon, little wood fence behind it, fresh apples on the little barrel here. It's got pumpkins down below and the little grass. Oh, yeah, okay. So it looks like a barn behind it because you got the barn wood up here, homemade cider, fresh apples in the barrel pumpkins but then behind the wagon there's a brick wall so you know when a barn is built the bottom sometimes is rock or um brick and then then they start with the wood so that's what that looks like in the back looks like it's parked in front of a barn oh my gosh super cute it's been gently used rubber's really soft awesome stamp thank you so much elizabeth okay let's see this one here is a cute adorable little snowman 
and he says factory seconds, but I don't know the company. There's no company name, but he's just so cute or she, she has long eyelashes. So maybe it's a she. Super cute. This one's been gently used. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's get this one here is, oh, those are birds. Let's see, Stacy, something it has on the side. I don't know if that's uh, the owner who had this or if that's the designer, I don't know. And I can't read the rest of it. I see, I see what looks like, it says Stacy. But I'm not 100% sure, you guys. There's no date, but look at how pretty this is. Two little birds sitting into like a pine tree. It's got pine cones. Oh, it's so pretty. I can see this done on a winter card. But the, this is the signature. There's no way I can read that. I don't know, you guys, but it don't matter. The stamp's in good condition. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, let's see. Let's start moving along here. Oh, my gosh. I remember seeing this one. Super cute. This is a penny black. It's from 2011. And it's, the designer is Margaret Sherry Collection. And it says www.pennyblack born wild. <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's so cute. And I thought of my husband on his, my, on his motorcycle. This would be such a cute card. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Look at that, you guys. It's brand new. I love it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And then this one here is a Precious Moments and a little Precious Moment girl um, praying with the bunny. And uh, Elizabeth, I actually have this one. So I'll just pass this along if you don't mind. Um, this is no date. It just tells you how to use pencils or whatever. It's St. Pendus. Wait, let's see. Okay, 2000. No, I'm sorry. 1998. 1998 St. Pendus. Cute, precious moments, little girl. I actually have the girl and the boy. So I will pass this along. Thank you so much. I know I have a very large um, collection of, of um, precious moments. And the last time I bought precious moments and I... I got the package in the mail and checked and I had three quarters of them already. So I really need to pay attention to what I'm buying to make sure I'm not buying doubles. But what I gave my doubles or um, to Gigi, I think. Okay, so this is a cornucopia. This is that same stamp, Stacy something. Yeah, I can't read that either. But um, this is an awesome stamp for uh, Thanksgiving or fall. Look at all the detail in the basket and then the corn over here, the pumpkin, the squash, there's carrots. Um, what's that? Hmm. I hear a motorcycle. I hope that uh, none of my husband's friends are here. So that is really cute. That's brand new as well. Love that. And then, oh my gosh, house mouse. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Look at this stamp pendus, uh, stamp abilities. I'm sorry. 2003, but we all know that they have uh, reprinted some of these. So this, oh, the original date is 1987. That's the original time when this came out, but it's um, 2003 was recopied. Look at how cute. Look at the ice cube on the on the uh, mouse's head. <laughs> Like mouse must not be feeling good because this one's giving them an aspirin. And it's so cute. Oh, it has a signature here. Let's see. 1997. There's a name there, but I can't read it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Elizabeth. Wow. Okay, you guys, there's a couple more in here. So we have this one here. Art Impressions, 1996. It's a little pale sitting by a little farm uh, fence and some grass. Lo love that. This one, Art Impressions. Love that one too. And then here's a little button. 
This would be really cute to make a background. You can stamp all the little buttons behind it. If you're doing like a sewing theme or something like that, that's really cute. And then last but not least, we have this one. And this one here is... Um, something New Jersey. Winter Phrases. Lincoln Park, New Jersey. It doesn't give me a company name. I'm sorry it doesn't have a company name, but this is a background. Frosty, blizzards, snow, storm, joy, snowball, frost. It just has a bunch of winter um, sentiments in the back. That'll make an awesome background stamp. And it's brand new, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Elizabeth, thank you. Thank you so much. You guys, please go over and visit, visit Elizabeth's uh, channel. I'll leave the link down below. And check out her haul when she did the haul on these stamps. She got some amazing deals. So, um, <clears throat> like I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope everybody has a blessed day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye, everybody.